Hey guys, Pastor Chris here. Welcome to the Poolside Chat. So, remember, no questions. One question. Um, this was not one that was come recently. This was one that I was asked, I don't even know how long ago. And I don't remember giving an answer to this. But the question was, why do the Greek Orthodox, Russian Orthodox, um, Egyptian Coptics, why do those people celebrate Jews, celebrate Christmas on January 6th or January 5th? Why isn't Christmas Christmas? And it has to do with calendars. And 45 BC, and look, look, look at this paper I printed out. So I know I didn't have the answer before because I had to research it. It has to do with calendars. In 46 BC, Julius Caesar developed a calendar to coincide with the solar year. 365 days, and every four years there would be a 366 days. Um, Greek mathematicians, uh, Alexandrian astronomers, Sisophanes, Sisophages, uh, came up with a solar year. And that's what we have now. But the year was 11 minutes off. And losing 11 minutes, the Pope and the Catholic hierarchy realized that Easter was falling farther and farther away from the spring equinox. So in order to correct this, this was the Julian calendar, the Julian calendar. So in order to correct this, Pope Gregory the 13th um, got his scientists and mathematicians and astronomers to develop a calendar that would account for this error. So, because they wanted Easter to fall at spring equinox. And in 1582, it's a long time they used the Julian calendar. They developed what's called the Gregorian calendar. What is interesting, and that's what we use today, and I did not realize this. Um... They made the days a little bit longer. So he devised a, a, a system where you'll have a leap day in years that are divisible by four, unless the year is also divisible by 100. If the year is divisible by 400, a leap day is added regardless whether it's on the four-year cycle or not. I mean, it sounds really super complicated, and to me it is, but this is how we got the calendar that we get today. So the Gregorian calendar, the one we're using, actually differs from the solar year by 26 seconds a year. Lilius um, synced the calendar with the season, but there was this 26 second error. So, a discrepancy of several hours has arisen. And actually, what I did find out is by the year 4909, the Gregorian calendar will be a full day ahead of the solar year. You know, it, it, I never realized all the math that goes into this stuff. And what's amazing to me is that these scientists back in 45 BC and 1582, were able to figure this out, you know. You think of Copernicus, um, think of Stonehenge, think of Newgrange. It's it's fascinating the science and the way that people are able to read the stars and the time and apply this. So that's how we got the two calendars: the Julian calendar, which was in use until. 14, well, 1582. And then the Gregorian calendar was put into effect. Now, what is kind of interesting 
is I'm looking to see where it says this. I can't remember. Not every country adopted this because some Protestants, some Orthodox, thought of this as a Catholic plot and they didn't want to be ruled by Catholics. So not everyone accepted the Gregorian calendar. Hey. Turned out to be a nice day here. I'm playing. So what happened in 1752 when Britain adopted it? Overnight on September 2nd at the midnight on the September 2nd, 1201, it became September 14th. It's funny just how all this works. So this is the calendar. But why do the Orthodox faiths and other faiths follow the Julian calendar? Well, they don't, except for what's called the liturgical calendar, the liturgical holidays, the church holy days. And all this was done basically, Pope Gregory the Thirteenth made the Gregorian calendar, so Easter would be celebrated around the spring equinox. It depends on who you ask, but it seems like the Orthodox Church and other faiths celebrate Eastern Christmas on the Julian calendar. One, for tradition. There's a lot to be said for stability. And then two, they didn't want the Catholics to tell them what to do. They didn't fall under the Pope. They weren't going to follow the Pope. This calendar was instituted by a papal bull, which is basically a... Uh, an edict. You will start doing this, or you will stop doing this. That's what a papal bull is. And they didn't want to follow that. And and that's what they did, and it's really that simple. So Julian Caller, Julius Caesar, we used until 1582, when Pope Gregory Thirteenth wanted to fix some of the errors in the Julian calendar, made the Gregorian calendar uh, by edict. Not everybody accepted that because some thought it was a Catholic plot. Some said they didn't fall into the Pope. Um, but now most all of us use the Gregorian calendar. We actually do use other calendars too, which I didn't know. Um, Bali. They have a Balinese calendar. They have a Jewish calendar. Um, and the reason that some people still go back to the Julian calendar is for the lit lit liturgical calendar, for the church worship, is they follow that because that's how it started, and it's by convention, um, and or, and or, they didn't fall under the papal bull, they weren't gonna follow the pope, so, Long, complicated historical answer to kind of a simple question, but it gives you the background as to what happened and why our Orthodox friends that I have are going to be celebrating Christmas this coming week, January 6th. It's just funny. Anyway, guys, starting Wednesday, we're going to get back to questions. I've got a pile of them on answer, but keep them coming. Uh, for all of you, I wish you a very happy, healthy New Year. Be safe, be good, and I look forward to 2024 with y'all. Let your friends know, Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, and maybe soon to be on Instagram again. I think I figured something out with Reels. At FL Compass Church, um, let your friends know. Happy New Year. We'll see you in 2024.